All right, so here's the Geiger counter setup that you'll find on your workstation. So this is the counter. Uh, there is a high voltage coming out here, so never touch this area, but it's relatively safe. Uh, we have the controller, and now to open the software, we open the STX X64. Okay, so this is the software, it's quite intuitive. Uh, you can select, for example, the voltage, we'll try to set, um, set high voltage, and let's see, 950. Here we have this set of samples. So we have five samples and each sample uh, emits a certain radioactive particle. So for example, let me pick up cesium-137 that emits beta and gamma particles. And right here we have these two sample holders that we insert somewhere here. This sample holder fits well, so I'll put here. And you know, sometimes people ask where to put it. I prefer to put in the first one because then I get more counts. If I put in another place here, I'll get fewer counts because the, the sample emits in uh, po radioactive particles in all directions, like it's a sphere. So if you are far away from the, your detector, you get fewer counts. So, so you can preset, for example, you can preset the time. Uh, let me let me put ten seconds here. And you can also preset the number of runs. After 30, 31 runs, it will stop. So I select 10. And let's start here. So in order to start measuring, you start here. So this sample is relatively radioactive. If I remove the sample from the, from the front of the detector, the, the number of counts now it's very low. If I move away, it will be even lower. And you still get some background because you are detecting uh, cosmic rays that excite the detector. And I can put it down here. You see that I get fewer counts. The rate is smaller. And if I put closer to the detector, I have a higher rate. Okay, so the first experiment you do is a plateau experiment. In all measurements you, you will perform, they should be done in the plateau. So you can select right here, experiments, plateau, and here you can input your parameters. So for example, you can start from 400 volts, and you can end at 1,000 volts. Never exceed this voltage. And the step voltage can be 20 volts. And you can select, for example, 20 seconds for each time. And if you check this box, you can see the results, and then you can run. So here, we click the existing data. Okay, I don't want to save anything. Okay, so now it's running. Experiments is counting the time here. You can see the total number of counts here. And this will take a while. But all your experiments should be done at the plateau. So you determine the plateau in this experiment. In the meanwhile, we also have here a certain set of samples. So here we have, this is strontium, so this is a sample you use when you try to measure the dead time of the detector, and I will explain how later on. All right, so this is take a while, we will be back soon.